Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I am still doing a lot of Christmas decoration. Uh, I've been wanting to do this nutcracker for a long time and I like this image because we can make him really big. And I know we can make him really big because you see how he's broken up into sections. So the longest piece on his body is going to be his legs. So if you think about his legs being 11 inches, because then I can cut it on 12 by 12 cardstock without any seams. So 11 inches plus another 11 plus another 11. I think he could be about 33 inches without any seams. So that's why I already saved about 33 inches. So let's do that. Let's grab him and make him 33 inches and he is gonna be perfectly seamless. And the other reason, normally our images that I do, like the ones you see in the background, they have a black outline, right? In this case, he does not have a black outline. So he is gonna be seamless because everything on here is going to be cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock and placed down. So he's gonna actually look amazing. Um, cause normally we have the little, I mean, they're so tiny. It's not that anyone's going to notice it, but I know that the seams are there. So if you looked really, really closely, you could see the seams on the outline because no other color is sitting on top of that actual outline. So you can see little bits of seams here and there, but on this one, he's going to be literally seamless. So awesome. All right. So he's 33 inches, but I cheated. I have looked at this file before recording, which normally I don't, but um, this happens every once in a while with designs that I buy. This one is from Creative Fabrica. I will post the link because you might want to get it because I'm already doing the tutorial. So even though we're going to be fixing it a little bit, um, let me show you the most obvious way to do that or to see what's wrong with this image. Okay. So I'm going to ungroup this. And I'm gonna click on his pants because I wanna make sure his pants are um, less than 11 inches, right? Or 11 and a half inches. But see, when I click on the red, it's showing that he's 12 and a half inches. But do you see how the image goes into the blue? So let me arrange and send it to the front so you can see what we're looking at. And actually, I was holding the gold. But look at the gold. Why is the gold extending into the blue? We don't need it. It can cut off right here. And look at the shoes too. We don't need it to go past here, right? So that drives me a little insane. I'm gonna move the gold over because I we can slice out the red later from that. But let's look at this red. Let's bring this to the front. See how it extends into the blue? We don't need that. That's annoying. I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Um, I wish it was just the red where it ended, right? Because this is now 12 and a half inches long. I can't cut it with the 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, but I know it's less than that because we have the black shoes and the, and the blue top coat. So let's grab this. Um, actually let's grab our red um, pants and scroll down over here and let's find his shoes. Okay. Here are his shoes. Hit shift and grab the shoes and slice. So we get rid of this, right? We don't need that. And now let's look at the pants. The pants are a little bit shorter. It was 12.5 something before. It's now 12.2. But now if we sliced it with the blue, I bet we would be fine. So we have the red selected. I know we do because over here it's selected as well. Let's scroll down till we get to the blue top coat. Here it is, hit the shift key and slice. And now let's look at, so see now our pants are 11 inches long. We can cut it on the Cricut. How annoying is that? It's, a, it's gonna be a little bit of work, but we'll, we're gonna do it right now. Okay, so now this blue though, let's put the blue back together. So here is, well, actually, you don't need to put the blue back together. We can get rid of this because we know the red is going to go there, right? Um, let's move this blue. So I don't know if you know this, but this right here is the order of our layers. So our red is sitting on top. The blue is sitting on top. So if I grab this blue, so I have my cursor holding onto this on my mouse, I'm going to drag it below... Here. 
I want to grab it below the white and it didn't work. Let me do it again. It's not moving. There. So you see how I moved the blue under? So now my white is above. So now I can see the white layer and then my blue is below. So let's grab the white and the blue and slice because now it's gonna be in four pieces. Before, it was one big blue piece, and so it looked like my blue wasn't gonna fit um, on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So let's remove that. So here's my blue. Let's put him underneath the um, our gold layer as well. So let's move this down. here. Um, that didn't help me. Oh, here. I want to put it below the shoulders. Okay. So we can actually slice out the gold as well, right? So this is already selected. Hit the shift key, grab the shoulders and slice that out because we don't need the blue there. The gold is already sitting on top. So what we could do is we can move this out of the way. We'll separate that in a second. The gold shoulders need to be put back together though. So let's grab this and this and weld it because we do want them to be just two pieces right now. So here are my two pieces again. It's looking good. I don't need my blue. I'm going to delete that. Um, I think everything else is going to be good. So now let's look at this blue. We don't need this little dot right here. So let's contour and let's remove that because the pants are covering that. We don't need that. All right. We're going to separate this into four separate pieces, right? So I'm going to use contour because this shape is going to be too hard to bring in a shape to slice, to isolate and, and slice out. So I want to break this up into four pieces. When I use contour, however many pieces I want it to be in, I need that many copies of it. So I need four versions of this. So I'm going to go to duplicate. Here's my second, third, and fourth version. I'm going to go to contour and I'm going to click hide all and it's going to leave me this bottom piece. And let's look at this bottom piece. This bottom piece is six inches by almost nine inches. So I can cut that on the Cricut. Let's go to the next one, hit contour and I'm going to hide all again. It's always going to leave me the top. Oh, hold on. Let me move my face out of the way. I'm gonna move myself down here. Okay, so when I hit hide all, it's always gonna leave me the top piece up here, even though this ends up being the bottom piece. I want this piece, I'm gonna select that. I don't want this piece, deselect that. And so see, here is my arm. I'm gonna go to the next piece, hit contour. Hide all. Whenever you hide all, it always leaves you one because if it hit everything, the whole image would disappear, right? So hide all leaves you the top one. We want this one. We don't want this one. And you're just kind of moving down and isolating each piece, okay? Contour. Now you can also select on the picture, okay? So right now, um, oops, let me X out of it. I'm still over here. This one's already isolated. I want to work on this piece. Let's hit contour. And I'm going to deselect this one. Deselect this one. Oh, hold on. I don't like using this up here because do you see how like even though I'm over here, it's highlighting the one on the right. It's th there. So I'm going to deselect that. Deselect this select this I'm left with that little triangle so now my blue is in four pieces that I can cut and it's not letting me move it okay there okay so that's all good I think these individual pieces are gonna be good um, okay so my hat is good okay so all these little pieces are good I'm going to grab my image my black image and move him over here. We need to slice this up into pieces that the Cricut can cut, right? 
What's nice is he's only nine inches wide. So that means I own, I'm using one 12 by 12 piece of card sheet and I'm gonna be building one column, okay? Um, let's look at him really quickly over here though and let's see what we have. So I do wanna um, break that up. So let's bring in a square because I wanna be efficient on my cutting mat. What is this little piece right here? I don't like anything that small. I'm just gonna delete it. I don't even know what that is. Okay, let's make our square really big because we're gonna be slicing quite a few things, okay? So let's slice out this the two gold pieces. Oh, hold on. My gold pieces, I need to slice it from my red actually. So I'm just gonna put it in here like that. I'm gonna grab this and slice it so that I know exactly how long I want the, the yellow to be, okay? So I'm gonna remove this for a second. I can delete that, I don't need that. Okay, but over here, I want my red to be back with my pants. So I'm gonna grab these two and I'm going to weld it. Weld it back together. So here's my red and here, here's my yellow stripes. Now it's 10 inches long so I can cut it with my Cricut. But I wanna separate these two so that I can put them right next to each other on the cutting mat. So I'm gonna slice it. And I have this gigantic square over here, right? Because I'm gonna be slicing a lot of things. So here's my gold. I'm gonna, mm, the red I don't need to slice because they're so close to each other but these shoulder pads, I don't wanna waste all this space in between. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be using gold glitter cardstock as well. So I kinda of wanna be really, really efficient. So I'm gonna slice so that all my gold pieces, I'm going to cut on one piece of cardstock, hopefully. So let's move this square over. We can remove your slice results. We don't need these two things. So let's delete that. Um, all right, everything else, I think is fine. Oh, but see, even these little pieces. I'm just gonna use regular cardstock, so I'm not too worried. I'm gonna be a little wasteful with the face and I'm gonna leave this as is. So let's go over here. Let's work on our guy, okay? So let's bring in a square. We need to slice them up into pieces that we can cut, right? So he is 33 inches long, so we're gonna need three 11 by 11 pieces of cardstock because 11 plus 11 plus 11 is 33, right? So let's um, do this, change this shape or size to 11 inches. And I'm just gonna move everything out of the way for a second, okay? So here's my square, let's go and position it, okay? So round to the nearest whole number, 49 and a half becomes 50, 8.44 becomes eight, so basically what I'm saying is for my X coordinate, go over 50 units, go down eight units, and here's the beginning of my square. I'm gonna duplicate my square and put it right underneath. If I put it close, I don't have to do any math. I'm just gonna round to the nearest whole number. This becomes 50, this becomes 19. So now I have two squares flushed with each other. I'm gonna duplicate it, uh, put this one down here, this becomes 50 and 30. I'm gonna show you the math behind it as well. So this is our first square, right? It's at 50 and eight. So here's at eight. We know that our square is 11 inches long. So eight plus 11 is 19. So look at my second square. My second square is at 19. 19 plus 11 is 30. Here's my third square at 30. So I know these three squares are completely flushed with each other. Now, I'm going to bring my black background, arrange, send to the front. And I'm going to make sure, because he's exactly 30 inches, I'm gonna grab this bottom square and the image, and I'm going to align bottom. So that way he fits in my frame. I'm gonna zoom in just to make sure where my seams are gonna be. So the seam is gonna cut across here, fine. It's gonna cut across here. So I'm just gonna have really big pieces. This is gonna be great. So I'm gonna take this first square and my black background and slice. 
So now his head, his hat, it is nine inches by 11 and I can cut that on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, right? That's basically what we're doing when we're doing off the mat is we're slicing it into pieces that the Cricut can cut. And then once we get it off the mat, we're gonna piece him all back together and tape him and they're gonna look like this, one gigantic awesome piece um, that will wow everybody because everyone's wondering how we piece that together. Here's our midsection, 11 inches by nine inches again. Now our bottom, it's fine. It's the, the legs aren't connected, but you'll tape this leg to this top, this leg to this side of the top, and it will be one full piece. We're not gonna see it at all because all the colors are gonna sit on top, right? So now our slice results, we can just grab all this and delete. We are done. So let's save this. And then let's go to the cutting mat so you can see what that looks like. So let's make it and let's see all our pieces. So here's our white. So we can move these pieces to make it more efficient, right? Okay, so remember how we didn't separate all our pieces? It may come to bite me in the butt. Well, this fits here, so that's fine. And this fits here. So it's not wasted space. So there's our white. Here's our black. Um, oh, right. So we have the hat, the shoes, and the belt, so that's fine. Those are all pieces that are gonna be layered on top. Okay, what is this? Uh, I think this is a slice result. We can delete that. Let's look at this. Okay, so these are his cheeks. Um, his nose is supposedly a different shade. I would probably go back and look at these to see if I can combine some colors. I don't like having four different shades of his skin. His eyebrows, I would just make that black. This is like a light brown. Okay. The gold are in different colors as well. So, okay, I'm not really feeling this. So let's cancel out of it. But you can see um, the blues, we can definitely put this all on one sheet. So let's go and grab this and click on this piece, the three dots and move objects. You can move things from sheet to sheet. Okay, well, let's move it over here. So yeah, this can go here. This can, um, Let's see if we can bring this piece over. Let's hope it can all fit on one page. Uh-oh, okay. Thought it was gonna glitch on me. Confirm. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can make this all. Well, I think we could do this. Yeah, this will all fit. So instead of two pieces, right, we can even make it super efficient, move it really close. Just make sure nothing's overlapping. So, cause I know I'm gonna use blue glitter cardstock. Next time I have this long piece that I can save and use as scrap for some other project. And here's my red. My red, I wonder if I can Oh, I can't fit that, okay. All right, so let's cancel out of this. Um, let me show you what we can do over here. Um, I'm gonna upload him one more time just so that we can see what he's supposed to look like and we'll zoom in really close, okay? So personally right now, let's look at this. Um, I'm gonna make it bigger so I can see what's going on. So here's his face. His nose is a different color. He has a little cutout on his nose. Um, let me make this bigger too as well. So do you see how he has a little cutout? I'm not really interested in the cutout. So the nose and the ear, I feel like should all be one color. His mouth is a little different. Dark. I almost feel like it should be a different color. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Let's go to Color Sync 
and see what we have. So, color sink. All right, so here's his face. Here's his nose. I'm gonna make his nose and the eyes and the ears all one color. So his, so his face and stuff is gonna be one color. So his face is gonna be two shades. That I'm okay with. Let's look at the gold. I feel like the gold can all be one color, one shade of gold. So I'm just moving everything into one. Oops. Um, those are his eyes. I'm okay with the eyes being a different shade than his top coat. So we have white, black. Oh, this one, that one I think is, let's make this small and see where that piece is. Okay, I think that is a piece that we need to just delete. I think that's a slice result. Okay. Um, these are his eyebrows. I'm gonna make them black. Okay, now we're good. Everything is pretty much one shade. And we're done. So let's save it. I'm gonna make this, I have a fake tree that's going in my art room and I'm gonna have all my decorations there so that you can see it. So the Grinch, Cindy Lou Who, this Nutcracker, probably lots of pretty wrapped gifts as well. All right, so let me know what else you wanna see for Christmas. It's still early, it's only, it's still October technically, tomorrow is the 31st. So let me know what you wanna see. We can spend all of November making it and then starting from December 1st or even right after Thanksgiving, we can put it out and really enjoy Christmas this year. It'll be a special Christmas during the pandemic um, because we're all home, so we're actually gonna really enjoy the holidays. That's my take on it, all right? Bye, guys.